my word! Oh, man. Did you see those deer? Yeah, I did not have time to go stop oh, for that. Oh, wow. It is 6 a.m. on Saturday morning. I'm taxiing 82720 up to the hangar. Nicholas is going to be flying this at 8 a.m. Nicholas is taxiing 8394 Charlie up to the hangar, and that's what we're going to be flying. I'm going to be his safety pilot while he flies IFR. We're going to do a cross country out to New Jersey, actually to an airport that Tucker Gott flies out of, uh, his paramotor. So if you guys have ever seen uh, Tucker Gott on YouTube, uh, check him out. He is awesome. Really cool guy. Really awesome videos. He just finished the Icarus race out west. And, uh, yeah, it'd be awesome if we got to see him. All right, let's park over here by the line shack and wait for Nicholas to get up here with 8394 Charlie. Watch my wingtip here. And we are good as gold. Now we wait for Nicholas. Just parked 82720. And uh, now it's time to get in 8394 Charlie. Nicholas! Ethan! Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, let's do this. Let's do All right. You got the plane? Brakes are good. Alrighty. The brakes good. All right. Warm up. If you push on the screen, it goes away, but it comes back in a couple seconds. How long has it been since you've flown nine for Charlie? Um, I flew it a couple months back to do some RNAV work with Jake. Clear right. Clear sound. Clear right. Left. I guess so. We'll use that crew crew resource manager. You want to put a flight plan? Put Chester County Pottstown and then uh, uh the Alexandria. Sure thing. Because Pottstown's like directly on that line. November 85, is that it? Yep, November 85. Run up. Keep the fuel in the right tank. Right tank has fuel. Okay, 2,000 RPM. 75 drop within reasonable between the two. RP has a good drop. Green, green. Reasonable, green. Put this on. Does show. Amperage jump. All green. Showing around 5.8. Looking good. Check fuel pressure remains full idle. So you're just going uh, direct Pottstown VOR and then Victor 405? Yeah. All right, run-up checklist is completed. Pre-takeoff checklist. Carpet's off. I want to follow the noise abatement procedure under the downwind. Depart that way. Yep. All right, 16.5. Is that true for uh, uh, Pottstown? Uh, yep, 116.5 for Pottstown VOR. And then we can just confirm the Morse code once we get up. Up to altitude. Also throw. I'll, we'll listen to Philly. We'll see how busy they are. I'll keep you clear. Alrighty. I'll keep you clear of the Philly airspace. What altitude are you planning to fly? Uh, 3,000. 3,000? 3, yeah. Okay, so we won't even be anywhere close to the last tier. Yeah. Alright, pre-takeoff checklist is completed out to the runway. I'll do my final takeoff checks. Your door is closed and locked? Yes, it is. My window is closed. You have a seatbelt on with the harness. I have a seatbelt on with the harness. Warp plan is as normal. Doors, window, landing light, time, strobes, brakes, release. Alrighty, we are going to be departing runway 29. Pretty winds. Uh, winds are calm, variable winds. We'll make a downwind departure. I'll put my foggles on at about a thousand feet or so. Sounds good to me. I'll grab the controls while you put your foggles on. And we'll be in the air. You want to hold them? Sure thing. Chester County traffic, Archer 8394 Charlie's departing runway 29, Chester County. Hold on. <laughs>
Course is 074, about 9 to the Ruta intersection. Ruta intersection. Um, don't know the airport elevation. 480, um, will be a circling approach. We're using Lehigh Valley altimeters. We're going to get out to uh, Yodha and we're just going to go 2700, go down to Yodha, and then cross Ritu, and at 2100 feet we'll land. Um, and missed approach. We'll do the uh, Climbing left turn to 3,000, out to uh, Lizzie intersection, that's in the GPS, let me check that it's in there, Lizzie's in there, Lizzie's in there, it's got the hold in there for the mist, in case for some unknown reason we go mist, one of you come, 22975's in there, 1240 in the one way will be directly in front of us, we'll circle to the downwind for 2-6, alright, brief. All right, let's say uh, ATC gives me 2,700 now. 8394 Charlie, descend, maintain 2,700 feet. Or cleared RNAV GPS approach. Send, maintain 2,700, clear the RNAV GPS alpha approach, Archer 8070. Start richening the mixture, throw on that fuel pump on, throw on the landing light on, everything good, Garby off. All right, three miles from Yoda. Descent checklist is complete. I'm seeing New York City. Really? Yeah, that's good. check out on our right. It's good visibility. Yeah. I got some good visibility out there. Yeah, it's excellent today. Couldn't have picked a more beautiful morning to fly. This is amazing. How many miles you would have from the runway? About uh, eight miles? Eight and a half. Eight and a half. All right, we're going down now to uh, 2100. Always good to confirm a million things, especially with this stuff. That's a hard deck until you get to... Rutu. 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 I'll adjust my GPS to the 2500 view, going to 2100. About a mile from her, too. I'll call it. We're five out. Sounds good. So you only have LNAV for this approach. 100 to go. Alexandria? Alexandria. Alexandria. Alexandria traffic, Archer 8394, Charlie 5, mile file for 8 on the RNAV, going to circle to 26. Alexandria. All right, pre landing checklist is complete. We're going down to our minimums, 1240. Now, precision approach will slow down. And out of flaps here. Alexandria traffic, Archer 9 for Charlie's on the left down for 26. Alexandria. All right, runway is in sight, circling to 26 now. All right, this is gonna be like touch the wheels, add full power immediately. See those deer? Yeah, I did not have time to go stop oh, for that. Oh, wow. Oh, man. Did you see those deer? Yeah, I did not have time to go stop oh, for that. Oh, wow. That was close. Yeah, you know, when I saw those deers, I'm like, the deers. When I saw the deer, I'm like, I cannot stop for them. I gotta go. It was perfect. I saw them coming across and the wheels touched. I'm like, oh, thank God we can get it. Good reaction time. Procedures direct. Can you put uh, Chester County in there? We'll just take a direct line back. Sure thing, man. Let's get the throttles back on, get a climb checklist going. So what routing would you like to do going back? Just direct. Did you want to do the ILS and the... Yeah. Chester County? I will give you vectors. Vectors, vectors, vectors. All right, cruise checklist. Got that mixture lean. Everyone's good in there. Practice locked. We'll leave max power. Got a private, private little airstrip down there. It's called Cedar Acres. Cedar Acres. Yeah. Wish I had a private airport. 
Oh, I wish I had a private airport. Okay, we're 30 minutes out and it's 727 right now, so we should uh, we should be landing just in time for the next next person with this plane. Oh, nailed it. Pretty good timing, Nicholas. Yeah, pretty good timing. And I get to go get 720 flight approaches now into uh, the VOR in uh, Brandywine and Newgard. Nice. Have you done those yet? Not yet. No? I've done the VOR out in Lancaster. Okay. And uh, and uh, a couple of VOR out in Lancaster, but nothing. Uh, the VOR into Brandywine is interesting because there's like a lot of trees and buildings and stuff like that. Yeah, to block the view of the airport. Yeah, and yeah, you're, yeah. you're coming in at a, a pretty good angle. So when you take your foggles off at minimums, it, it's it's kind of disorienting at first. Yeah, but especially then when, can you imagine poor visibility on top of that? Yeah, and, and you're really close to the airport too. Yeah. And that, that's based on time. So, you know, you've got to make sure that time matches up with your ground speed pretty good. In that, in the worst case, that a deer were to pop out. No, <laughs> deer I, popped I out. I think it was a good decision to go full power. Yeah. There's not much you can do in that case when you're going 80 miles an hour down a runway. Yeah. Unless you have wings. Wings always help. I guess the run with the airplanes don't scare them anymore. We probably came I, out of nowhere. I'm thinking we did scare them, and that's why they ran across the runway. So the GoPro decided to die on me while we were on the ILS coming back in here to Chester County. Uh, it was absolutely a beautiful flight. Got to see a lot of cool fog on the ground on the way. Uh, very clear visibility. Was able to see New York City. We could see Philly um, from different points of the flight. Our landing in Alexandria was a little scary because we came in to do a touch and go. Deer ran across the runway. We did not have enough time to put the brakes on to stop before the deer. Um, so we gave it full power and we were able to clear the deer at the last minute. Nicholas was able to build some simulated IFR time. I was able to build some cross country PIC time. Um, so killed two birds with one stone and we're one step closer to the rating. Um, so if you guys enjoyed this video, like this video, subscribe. Remember that God is good all the time and we will catch you in the next one. Peace out.